Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Steam Code. This is part two of our Sudoku in JavaScript series. And this is what we'll have by the end of today. You'll be able to, well first, it'll have these numbers for the original Sudoku. And then you'll be able to click and place a number and get rid of a number. So that's what we'll have by the end of this tutorial. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to have is a, a representation of our grid. And the way I did this was I created a 2D array. I just copied this down. I just went on Google Images. I looked for an unsolved Sudoku puzzle. Um, you guys can pause the video and copy this down inside your own code. But this is what I had. And then now moving on, after you guys have copied that down, we can now start setting the original values in the Sudoku based on the grid. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna have two for loops within each other. So for var x equals zero, x is less than 9, x plus plus. Inside of this, we're going to have 4 var y is equal to 0, y is less than 9, and y plus plus. And then if grid x, if grid x, y, is not equal to zero. So if it's an actual number, because as you can see here, the zeros correspond to the empty spaces. So if grid XY is not equal to zero, then we're gonna create a variable called ID, and that's gonna be equal to hash symbol plus X plus Y. And then we're going to set, we're gonna grab our ID, and set the HTML to grid X, Y. And then we're going to get the cell with our ID. We're going to set the attribute of data original to true. I'll explain all of this once I'm done with this last line. And then we're going to set the CSS and the font weight will be set to bold. So you're able to differentiate between these and the numbers that you place. All right. So in this line, we created the ID. And the ID is significant because as you remember from part one, our for each cell has an ID starting from 0, 0 all the way to 88. This is 0, 0 and this is 88. And so we go through, we go through for each ID, if, if the grid number that corresponds to that ID is not equal to 0, we set that ID or we set that cell with the number that's inside of this grid array. And we also make it bold and we set the data original to true. And data original just specifies that this is an original number not placed by the user. All right, so now moving on, we're going to start allowing the player to place their numbers. So we're gonna create two variables. I'll explain what they're used for after a second. So var old cell is equal to null and var new cell is equal we're just gonna create var new so we're not gonna initialize it and so here we're going to be setting the key codes to the respective cells so we're gonna grab the element that has the class of cell so that's all of these cell elements so cell dot click so on click 
So when the user clicks on any of these cells, then we're going to do something. So we're going to set new cell to the element that the user clicked on, which is denoted by this. And then if new cell dot attribute data original is equal to true and then if old cell is not equal to null old cell dot CSS is set to background color the background color will be set to white all right let me explain this really quickly so new cell is the cell that you're currently clicking on old cell is a cell that's been clicked on last and so if the cell you just clicked on is one of the original cells and if old cell is not equal to null then set old cells background color to white and you can see that here so if we click on one of the original cells the old cell is set back to white all right so now moving on we can say if old cell is not equal to null then old cell dot css we're going to set the background color to white as well background color set that to white there's one thing i forgot to do up here we're actually going to return false and the reason we're returning false is just so that we don't do anything under under this line once that happens and so below this we're going to say this dot css background color and we're going to set this color to c7 fff7 you can set it to whatever color you want but this color i just chose before the video because i thought it looked nice and we're going to set old cell to this all right so now we're going to say if the user clicks on a key so now we're going to deal with if the user actually clicks on one of the numbers and they want to place that inside of a inside of their respective cell so the way we're going to do that is we're going to say window dot key down function evt this is just the event that's being passed and then inside of here is what we're going to actually do once the key has been pressed and we're going to also have something here called key up this is just once the key rises and inside of here we're going to say function evt okay perfect so inside of this key down we're going to say if new cell dot attribute data original is not equal to true so if it's not one of the original cells then if evt dot which <clears throat> is greater than or equal to 49 and evt dot which is less than or equal to 57 
So basically what this line does is it's saying if the if the key that you're pressing is greater than one, greater than or equal to one, or less than or equal to nine. And these are just the key codes that correspond to those numbers. Because each key on the keyboard has a specific key code. And these are the key codes that correspond to those numbers. Okay, so now we're gonna say new cell dot html string dot from char code evt dot which so basically we're just getting the actual string so the one two three four five or whatever number the user presses from that key code that we specified up here and so I made curly brackets when I wasn't supposed to. Okay, so we're gonna create two variables, var x equals new cell dot attribute id dot substring zero one and var y is equal to new cell dot attribute id dot substring one two so these are just the singular ids so the x value and the y value of the id of the cell and then we're going to say grid x y is equal to string dot from char code evt dot which and then down here we're going to deal with if the user clicks on a backspace so else if evt dot which is equal to 8 and 8 is just the key code that corresponds to backspace so if evt dot which is equal to 8 then new cell dot html will just be set to nothing perfect so now let's actually test our program so reveal and file explorer so now it's open so this is how it looks like so far so good we're able to create numbers and place them inside of here and we're also able to get rid of them with pressing backspace so that concludes this part two of our sudoku of making sudoku in javascript tutorial if you enjoyed the tutorial please like and subscribe and don't forget and do not hesitate to put your questions in the comments and thank you for watching